today's deadly clashes between Muslim Brotherhood protesters and the police trying to disperse them may just be a foretaste of worse things to come. The Brotherhood is a huge grassroots political and social movement. It dates back 85 years and it's dedicated to ultimately establishing an Islamic state. They've always been very good at handing out charity, but their one year in office was a disaster for the economy. Now their deposed president, Mohamed Mursi, has vanished from view, detained by the military. The Brotherhood's other leaders are all either under arrest or on the run, their assets seized. So the backlash has begun, with some of their supporters attacking Coptic Christian churches, police stations, and symbols of government. Yet the movement's leaders insist that their protests are peaceful. The Muslim Brotherhood has faced atrocities of dictatorships for decades and we've been uh, standing up peacefully against them. Um, the, the implication is that it's not about the Muslim Brotherhood now, it's about the Arab Spring. And if the Arab Spring does not succeed in Egypt, it will not succeed anywhere else. Egypt is central, Egypt is important and it has to succeed in Egypt. Well, the Muslim Brotherhood's influence extends far beyond Egypt's borders. Its closest political ally is probably Hamas, in power in neighbouring Gaza. Over in Tunisia, the Islamist party, Nahda, is in power following the overthrow there of the secular president. In Jordan, the largely anti-Western Muslim Brotherhood forms a powerful political bloc. They've been present for years underground in Syria, where they're banned. Thousands were massacred there by the previous president. And in Turkey, the government in power is an Islamist one influenced by the Brotherhood. Finally, over in the Gulf, their only real backer there is Qatar. The other countries see the Muslim Brotherhood there as a threat. These latest clashes are potentially very destabilizing for the whole Middle East. A lot of people in the region either love the Muslim Brotherhood or they detest it. But it's simply too big to be ignored. So ultimately, compromise will have to be found if further bloodshed is to be avoided.